What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you're having an amazing day and today's video we're going to be taking a look at how you can turn your Redmi Note 7 Pro the wireless into a complete Google Pixel 3 so if there was any kind of Pixel 3 Lite or Pixel 3a that uh, there were some rumors about this would be the perfect example and amazing build quality with amazing hardware and decent camera so again we have this Redmi Note 7 Pro here with this glass body and amazing Snapdragon 675 processor and specs that go up to 6 GB of RAM which Pixel 3 doesn't even offer as a standard. So again over here as you can see this is your home screen and this is based on the latest Android Pie like the literally last version of the Android Pie. So again it's a bit updated than your normal MIUI 1 and this is based on a pre-built kernel so you get the best out of the battery life and the performance that it has to offer. So it's very optimized ROM to be honest and let's just take a look. So this is your home screen this is how it looks there is the weather you have the live wallpaper over here it keeps on changing after time then you have this set of apps you have shortcuts then if you go to the left this is your google now like the news board looks pretty cool as you can see and there is not even like a single touch lag over here when compared to miui there is a bit over here but uh, in your third party apps there is just literally nothing even if you go to the contacts the scrolling is just amazingly smooth just like the oxygen noise that i showed you guys few days earlier but then again, as you can see, these are your apps completely plain and white. Looks pretty cool. As you can see, you also get spam protection for the messages app. Pretty great over there. You have Play Store, Chrome. Then the choice of the camera that we are going over here is a Pixel 3 camera. Pretty much the same thing that I showed you guys few days earlier. This is your portrait mode. Again, just works fine if you just go to all the apps. This is your calculator, calendar. Again, this is just complete Google package. You get everything from Google Pixels. There is not a single like AOSP app over here. As you can see, completely customized. Then again, we have FM radio over here, my files, which is pretty deep loaded. As you can see, you can of course go to your internal storage and stuff. Very simple app. And then let's just talk about the UI. Now UI is very plain and simple over here. You don't get any kind of full screen gesture, sadly over here. Android Q is still working on that. So even in Pixar, you just get your normal navbar things like you can switch between apps over here like this, or you can browse between all the apps like this. Haptic feedback over there really looks cool. Then again, you can go to the recent apps panel like this. You can scroll through all the apps. If you want multi-window, just tap the app info over here. Then I can split screen. Very handy and this phone is just powerful. Like if you want to see the numbers, go to the Android benchmark. It still scores 177K on an average day with 4 gigs of RAM, which is again great for a 14,000 rupee phone. Again, you have app opening speeds, just amazing. Like you can just tap an app over here and it just opens very quick. Again, if you want to know the booting speed of this thing, here you go. It just boots like in a blink. And then let's just take to the settings. So in settings over here, as you can see, very plain UI looks pretty cool on our display over there with a the small little notch. It's pretty optimized over here. It doesn't have any kind of Xiaomi meme UI optimizations like in PUBG, it just messes up and stuff. There is nothing like it. Even if you go to the Play Store, it's completely tucked in over there. There is a millimeter gap because yes, some of the apps could have issues. So that's for it. In Auction OS is completely touched down. Yes, I'm still working on it with the developer, but there are some still features remaining to fix. Then again, you have pretty much normal stuff like connected devices, apps and notifications, permissions. If you go to the battery, you have show battery percentage right over here. You have battery manager. In over here, you can optimize your apps completely like the adaptive power saving from Android Pie. And it just completely works over here. And yes, Xiaomi is actually right now working on a digital well-being and a complete adaptive power saving mode, which is pretty great. Xiaomi is doing bits over there. If you go to your display, there is no calibration over here. You just get adaptive brightness and they all have very beautiful animations like this from the Pixel phones. Then again, going down, you have night light, just your normal yellowish screen, nothing new in that. You have font size, display size, ambient display working over there. Tap to wake is currently broken and it won't be fixed until Qualcomm gives the sources for the Snapdragon 675. And then you have device theme. Now device theme, if you choose dark, it's not completely black. It's a dark theme, which is pretty great to be honest. Looks very good as you can see. If you just come back to automatic based on wallpaper, it chooses everything itself. Pretty great over there too. If you go down sound, nothing much, storage, just nothing. Going to the security, you have fingerprint and face unlock working over here, which is just great. Again, the speed of face unlocking is pretty good. Then again, going down, you have accounts, accessibility, digital well-being. In digital well-being, as you can see, it tracks down everything and Xiaomi also is working on its own version. So maybe we can see in MIUI 11, then again, you have a grayscale option over here, which is not a huge deal. You can also access it through the quick settings panel. This is it. Looks pretty cool. I mean, there is no blur and stuff like MIUI 10, but gets your job done. You can, of course, grayscale all of your phone like this. 
if you're reading something very handy in system you have gestures for the swipe up if you don't like the gesture you can of course turn it back to the buttons as you can see i mean it now feels a backward change but still many people choose to the nav bar then you also have uh, multiple users yep you can of course set that way you have developer options normal stuff then going to about phone section android version is 9 april 5 patch the latest and the greatest also the kernel version is 4.14 the latest again just great also the build number is pq 2a not the 1a so again the latest of android pi so if you just go to the easter egg now the easter egg is a bit different what you get basically on miui 10 as you can see the p just keeps on changing the colors and at the end of it you get a drawing board which is i don't know why google added onto the last version of android pi and then let's just get to the installation of this thing now i have already made how to root your redmi note 7 pro and install a custom recovery you can press the i button over here but i'm still going to just take you guys through the whole process again if you just talk about the bugs they are pretty much non-existed over here rather than being some features like the tap to wake like literally everything works over here from the both cameras to the dual volte 4g vilt just everything is working so just hop onto your pc with the unlocked bootloader i surely hope you guys can do that so so once you hop onto your PC, you have to just download these six files. Now, I know there are a lot, but in order to install a custom recovery on your Note 7 Pro isn't easy. So you will need all of these files and then you have to just go to this ADB folder right over here. Of course, everything is in the description. Then you have to just open this CMD file. Now in this CMD file, you have to actually type in first of all, fast boot devices. Then just grab your phone and press power and volume down at the same time just like you did while unlocking your bootloader there you go there is the mi bunny just connect the phone to your pc and hit enter there you go a random number and fastboot that means our device has been successfully connected then again you have to just install vb meta image cause yes although this phone has treble and everything xiaomi has kind of blocked from installing any kind of custom system vendor or boot image which are essentially the whole rom so you have to actually unlock that by copying the command in the first line of the description. You have to just copy it and right click it over here. Then hit space and then drag in this uh, VB meta image over here. Just like that. Then hit enter. There you go. Successfully unlocked. Then again you have to just type in fast boot flash recovery. Then you have to just drag in this twerp over here. This is our custom recovery. Just like that. Hit enter. There you go, our custom recovery has been successfully flashed. Now you just grab your phone and do not reboot your phone. If you reboot your phone, your custom recovery would be gone and you have to just do this whole process again. So directly just press power and volume up at the same time until the Redmi logo shows up. So you have to just now go to wipe, format data and type in yes over here. Yes, as we are wiping our whole device, you have to actually take a whole backup of your phone cause in order to remove the MIUFI encryption, this is actually necessary. So this will completely clean our phone and our phone would be decrypted that's that then again you have to go to wipe advanced wipe and wipe dalvi cache data system not the vendor we still need vendor in order to use any kind of firmware tools like for networking and wi-fi so do not just wipe vendor go back and then you have to just go to this pc xiaomi redmi note 7 pro internal storage as you can see it's completely blank then you have to just copy this lineage os firmware gcam and pixel experience the actual pixel 3 rom once everything has been copied, just go back to your phone, swipe to unlock, go to mount and mount everything from system vendor, like literally everything which is mountable. No need of micro SD card or the USB OTG. Just go to home back again, go to install and now select lineage OS firmware, add zips, pixel experience. Just confirm to flash and it will do everything itself from patching the vendor to installing the pixel 3 ROM. There you go, the ROM has been successfully flushed. As you can see, there were no errors. So just now reboot system, do not install. There you go, here is the Google logo and now the first boot will again take few minutes. And our phone is finally back up. Now I've just quickly done the setup cause the brightness doesn't work on it. So here you go, this is your home screen and if you go to the menu now, you won't be having any kind of camera app. Now you might be having a Snapdragon camera app as developer has added it in compared to the stock one cause the Gcam isn't actually final for this thing. We are still using the Nokia 7 plus one. So in order to install that, you have to just go to my files, show internal storage right over here, Redmi Note 7 Pro, Gcam 6.1. Let's just continue and install that thing. Open, allow all the permissions. And there you go, you have a completely working Gcam over here, like the 4K 30fps recording, you have a completely working portrait mode with HDR+, plus. like this is just amazing. But there is some kind of saturation issue going around cause of the weird ass camera sensor that we have. So you have to just go to more, settings, Gcam settings, 
saturation adjustments and select highlight for two might be great then shadow for 2.3 same goes for the front camera now you can always adjust it according to you but uh, these are the preferred options like one point it also works great if you are not like a huge fan of punchy colors but uh, that's pretty much it for the camera yep that's how you enable it and now if you want the face unlock you can uh, always just uh, go to settings right over here right over here then security i have already done my pattern and fingerprint so smart lock just apply your pattern over there there you go trusted face set up next just set up your stupid face right over here try to move a bit i mean the lighting is not the best over here right now but should get the job done as you can see face added done and let's just check the speed of it tap wow that was pretty quick and yeah guys that's pretty much it on how you can turn your redmi note 7 pro into a complete pixel 3 i hope you guys enjoyed if you want more info about these things and stuff you have to just subscribe down there and if you want some unposted stuff like literally everything that i'm working on you can just follow me on instagram for everything like my auction os works and stuff and see you guys in the next one thanks for watching peace